beautiful. You can take a photo of me. Ella Kissy Deborah was just nine years old when she died following a severe asthma attack. She lived just metres from the South Circular in Lewisham, one of London's busiest roads. But a 2014 inquest didn't consider the role exposure to pollution played. Ella's mother, Rosamond, fought for a new inquest to be held. And in a landmark case in December, a coroner ruled that excessive air pollution contributed to Ella's death. Today, he joined calls for the government to take urgent action. In a report on preventing future deaths, Assistant Coroner Philip Barlow recommended legally binding targets for pollutants, especially particulate matter. Improved public awareness about levels of air pollution, both locally and nationally. And better communication from doctors and nurses to patients about the negative impacts of air pollution on health. Up to 36,000 people die from air pollution each year. But the UK's current particulates limits are double the World Health Organization's recommended levels. Ella's mother, Rosamond, is pressing the government to take urgent action. Rosamond Adukisi Deborah, the, the coroner today has called for better public information. And I just wondered, with that in mind, when you first realised or first wondered if there might be a link between Ella's asthma and air pollution? I'm, 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 I'm afraid to break it to you, Cathy, that came after she had passed away. So for me, it was always too late. I still wanted to, to know more, hence I'm talking to you for today, because I've pushed it this far. But when I did find out, it was too late. Mm. And I have gone back to think, what would you have done? The most probably would have been quickly to go and rent some something somewhere. I mean, Ella was so ill, there would have been no chance to sell one's house which takes forever it, it it would have literally be to probably find somewhere to move um as quickly as possible and i think i've stopped thinking that now because it doesn't change anything why is it important that the government acts immediately because people are still dying it, it is as simple as that heart attacks asthma attacks dementia air pollution has now shown to be linked to everything and bringing us right up to date, we now know in areas of high um, air pollution, there were more COVID deaths. So even COVID hasn't escaped the ramification of air pollution. It's linked to everything. So as a nation, our, our health is suffering. And that's why the government needs to act immediately. What would you say to Boris Johnson if he was sat in front of you right now? I'm not really about blame, but I do think he can make a change. Um, and I... I want him to join me in this. I think you're the only person who has asked me about. He, he, he was the person in charge when my daughter became ill. Um, doing something for the British public now will put some of the wrongs of the past that should have been done. That, that will make us feel better as a family. And he has the power to do that. So I am asking him to do the right thing. It's not going to bring hair back but it, it will save lives going forward. Ella would have been 17 this year. What do you think she would have made of your years and years of battling on her behalf? She would always would have wanted, wanted me to do the right thing. It's been a very difficult journey. I, I, have, I have shed many tears over losing, losing her, but I still think despite all the difficulties, it was the right thing to do. And it, she made history and it, it will forever be written there. She was only here for a, for a short while. I, I never saw today, you know, when we started, it was such a milestone, a long time, you know, after the first inquest at 2014, when I thought something still isn't quite right. And seven years on, we are here now. It's been a long, long, long road. It is not over yet. There's a lot more work to be done, but I'm, I am really proud. I'm, I'm really proud um, of my children as well. I, I, I must say that through half their life ha has been spent uh, with, with, with their mother fighting for justice for their sister. And when I told them I'm doing some interviews for today, they, should, they just said, well done, mum, and good luck. I feel like I've done my bit now, and it's up to other people to implement what the coroner has asked for. Rosamond Adukati Deborah, thank you so much. Thank you, Cathy.